Today we are going to be talking the Pueblon milk snake, and its scientific classification is the Lampropeltis triangulum campbelli. Now, this snake, it it's it's probably my favorite snake of all time. It is my favorite species, and I've had one myself. Um, the Pueblon milk snake is a non-venomous colubrid snake. Colubrid is a grouping it's classified as, which is basically, if you can imagine, just where, you know. If a snake can't really fit into a certain group, they put it in this group. This is kind of like that collection of any of those kind of snakes. Um, and in its adulthood, it reaches 36 to 48 inches. That is pretty freaking sweet. I mean, that's that's badass. Um, one thing you should know about this snake is it resembles the coral snake. And because of that, this is a, basically an effect in nature that happens known as the Batesian mimicry. And this basically gives an animal distinct features that resembles another poisonous or venomous animal and helps them defend themselves from predators because the predators believe that they are venomous or poisonous. And the difference though is the red and or the uh, coral snake, its red and yellow stripes touch. The other with the uh, polo milk snake, it's the opposite. The black and the red are touching and that's basically a good way to identify them. Um, the Pueblons found in southern Puebla, obviously, eastern Morelos, and northern Oaxaca, Mexico. I have no idea if I said those right, but who cares? And I guess that's today's episode of Reptilian Research. Scale away, guys. If you liked what you saw today and you want to see more, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me, guys. Um, today we built the Dryad's house, and that was pretty fun, but I don't know what we're going to do next time. I guess we'll see. Well, scale away, friends.